Good morning, children. Welcome back to the UBS class. Let's recap what we learnt in the previous class. In the previous class, we learnt about hearing impaired people. Hearing impaired people. People are unable to hear soft sounds or cannot hear at all. People are unable to hear soft sounds or cannot hear at all. They are called hearing impaired people. They often use the hearing aids to hear. They may not speak very clearly because they do not hear sounds well. Next, uh, we learnt about physically challenged people. Who are the physically challenged people? People who cannot use their arms, legs and other body parts to do routine activities are physically challenged people. People who cannot use their arms, legs and other body parts to do routine activities are called physically challenged people. Now, today's topic is care for sick. People care for sick people. C A R E care F O R for S I C K sick people. P E O P L E people care for sick people. Sometimes people fall ill and do not feel well. Sometimes people fall ill and do not feel well. We should take care of our family members when they are not feeling well. So let's see how we can. Take care of a sick people. How we can take care of a sick people? First one, they should rest in a quiet and comfortable place with plenty of fresh air and light. They should rest in a quiet and comfortable place with plenty of fresh air and light. Second one, we should not disturb them. We must not make noise around them. We should not disturb them. We must not make noise around them. We should not make any noise. It may disturb them. Third one, people who are sick are generally weak. We can help them fetching things they need. So, people who are sick, they are generally weak. So, you, have, you can help them by giving the things whatever they need. Fourth one, we should spend time with them so that they do not feel lonely. We should spend time with them so that they do not feel lonely. Look after them when they are ill. Give them medicines or take them to the doctor and give them love and care and your support. Fifth one, we must keep their surrounding clean. Their surrounding we have to must keep clean. We must keep their surroundings clean. While taking care of sick, we must take care not to fall ill ourselves. We should take care of ourselves also. So, like this, we can take care of a sick paper. In this lesson, you learnt care for all, care for elderly people, need special care due to the old age. Next, care for physically challenged, cannot use their limbs, they need help for different activities. Next, care for hearing impaired people are unable to hear. They are using the sign language. We can speak slowly to help them to lip read. And next, visually challenged people, they cannot see. We can help them by writing examination, helping in crossing roads, etc. Next, care for sick people should rest in a quiet and comfortable place. Now, your work is that uh, write difficult words and learn the Spellings, write difficult words and learn the spellings. Here I given the difficult words feel F double E L feel comfortable C O M F O R T A B L E comfortable should S H O U L D should plenty P L E N T Y plenty disturb D I S T U R B disturb generally G E N E R A double L Y generally lonely L O N E L Y Lonely surroundings, S U double R O U N D I N G S surroundings, ourselves, O U R S E L V E S ourselves. Here, feel comfortable, should plenty disturb, generally lonely surroundings, ourselves. Write these difficult words and learn the spellings. Okay, thank you.